Nitro here, and today I'm going to do some Portal gameplay. Um, this is Portal 1, not Portal 2. Um, this is my fourth time recording this. Uh, the, <laughs> the first time I recorded it, I made it all the way to the end and didn't realize I didn't have my mic set to record. The second time, I made it almost to the end of my recording and my game froze. My whole computer locked upon me. I had to reset it. The third time, my mic was not loud enough and it was impossible to hear me over Gladys. So I turn my game volume way down. It doesn't really matter because you really don't need to hear what she says. It's literally pointless. You can figure everything out on your own. It's as simple as shooting the portals and figuring it out. Um, when she talks, it is pretty pointless. It, it really has no help to the game in my opinion. Other people might think otherwise, but that's your opinion. Um... So, once this timer gets down to zero, we'll get started. Reload, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aid. You should still be able to hear her just fine. I'm going to try to talk louder whenever I'm talking when she is, because in my previous recording, every time I talked while she talked, it was very impossible to hear me. You couldn't hear anything I was saying. Um, this time around... I have turned my volume down a little more, and hopefully it helps out a lot. I'm going to record the first 11 missions because I'm only going to record up to where you get the second portal gun. I don't want to spoil the whole game if you haven't played it. Um, there's 19 levels, and I guess there's bonus levels too. I haven't looked into those yet. But um, <clears throat> I think I plan on doing more gameplay on this game. And... Now record, you know, the bonus levels and there's challenges you can do. And I might do all that, I'm not sure yet. Now the levels later get a lot harder than this. They're not as simple as dropping a block on a button and just <laughs> go through the door and go to the next level. They get very complex. There was one level I did yesterday. It took me over an hour to figure out. And it really wasn't that hard. It, these games just, or these missions rather, puzzle you. And... They are, they really make you think, which is one reason why I really like this game. It requires you to use your mind and not to just spam buttons and shoot bullets all over the place and throw grenades. Don't get me wrong, I love FPS's, but it's nice to play something different for a change and not worry about kids screaming in your ears. <laughs> Please move quickly to the chamber lock. <clears throat> One thing this game doesn't have is a sprint button, which I don't like. But you can just jump and it'll make you move a little faster, which helps. Another thing I really like about this game is the loading screen. That's it. <laughs> you really don't have to wait longer than four or five seconds maybe unlike some games that have the 25 30 second loading screens you have to wait and wait and wait or uh, some that are even longer than that this one's just a quick few seconds and it's one continuous uh playthrough you don't have to like back out and pick a new level which is also really nice um a lot of games don't offer that and they should in my opinion very good you are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Level Do not three. submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to go through this kind of quick, because this is my fifth time um, doing this playthrough, or sixth time. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through it. And, um, if you have any questions on something I do, if I do it too quick and you just didn't notice it or couldn't tell what I was doing, just ask, and I'll show you I'll do another like playthrough on that mission, or... If you have any questions about it, I'll do it for you. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh, 
Level five. Push this block off. <laughs> As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, now these I don't know I can't remember if they were in portal 2 or not if they were somebody correct me but I know that they had the little ball that you had to do basically the same thing with these except these ones you just use portals and uh, Portal 2, you would have a ball and you had to get it and put it into the middle of one of these little circle things. Um, I can't remember if those were in Portal 2 or not. I don't think they were. Like I said though, I could be wrong. devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. This level is a little more complex. Um, you have to go through, put a portal here, crouch, so it doesn't hit you, and then shoot a portal over here, so it'll come back through, and go right there. Then put a portal over here, and step through, and that's it. This one took me a little while to figure out the first time I did it. Um, and now that I've done it five times, it's it's not that not as hard for me. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Wonder why these walls are padded. Guess in case they're worried about somebody the breaking out. Regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. I would say if you're looking for a new game, I definitely recommend Portal. Um, if you just want a nice single player game, 
Portal 2 does have a co-op gameplay and its own single player mode. Um, yeah, this is where we get the second Portal gun. But you can buy Portal 1, I think it's $10 on Steam. Uh, you can get the orange box which has Portal 1, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2, and it has Team Fortress 2. Although Team Fortress 2 is itself only, um, it's free. You don't have to buy that, but it does come with it. So if you already have it, it, it doesn't really make a difference. It won't really affect you or anything. You don't have to re-download it. Um, but Portal is definitely a really fun game. I really enjoy it. It's a nice single player game to go and get away from little kids screaming all the time on Xbox or in Gary's mod or anything like that. Alright, and that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching and dealing with me. <laughs> um, I think I'm definitely going to do more gameplay on this because I really, really love Portal. And I want to do the challenges and stuff like that and show the more complicated levels. Um, like and subscribe, comment, um, or don't. But thank you for watching. And peace.